Hi everyone for Motion VFX. This video will show you how versatile are the M Title packs and how far you can go to customize them. For this tutorial, I will work with the M Title Cyberpunk pack as I would like to add some titles and effects on a VR experience teaser. Let's have a look at the final project. Here, the basic editing without any titles or effects. To start, you will find the M Title Pack in the Title Library. I will scroll to the M Title Cyberpunk Pack. Inside, you will find 25 pre animated titles. Also, you will find 10 add ons and 15 overlays effects. Let's add an opening title at the beginning of my edit. This one with a VR headset will be perfect. I will drag it into my project. I can adjust the duration and automatically it will adjust all the animation inside my titles. This title is composed with many elements that I can adjust directly inside the viewer or I can open the inspector to get access to all the advanced parameters. Every element from the titles can be modified. First, I will switch off the animation out. I will adjust the size and the position. I will modify the main text. I can also change the color of the text from the add elements. As I've said before, you have a complete control on each element. Here, I would like to remove the Chinese text in the background, so you can delete the text or just switch it off. I will change the global colors also on the various elements. And finally, I would like to keep only the VR headset. So I will switch off the background layer, but also the 3D head. What is really nice with Final Cut Pro 10 and the magnetic timeline is the fact that you can mix very easily all your elements. For example, here I will drag a new title below my first title. And use it as a background. Of course, I will need to adjust some elements like removing the text element. As you can see, you can mix several titles and keep the elements you need to create your own title. Let's add the text on the top of it. I will use an add-ons element. I will modify the text. I would like to lower down my text, but I have a add element behind. It is not readable. But as all the titles are completely customizable, I can select the main title back and remove this element. The second shot doesn't need any effect. Let's move to the eye shot. On this one, I would like to add some reflection inside the eye of the matrix animation following. My main issue is that the eye is moving. I don't have the time to animate each frame or track it. I need a quick solution to freeze the position of the eye. To do this, I will activate the Final Cut Pro 10 stabilization parameter inside the inspector, and I will push the smoothing value to three. So now the eye doesn't move anymore. Now we'll copy the two matrix animations and drag them over the eye. I will select both and create a carbon clip. I will switch the blending mode to screen. Now I will reduce the size and move the center of the animation to the center of the eye. I would like to invert the motion of the animation in order that the particle move to the center of the eye. I just have to reverse the speed of the compound clip.
So now I need to create and animate a mask. I will use the Bezier curves and play with the feather to smooth the edges. I will decrease a little bit the opacity and test various blending modes. I would like to stylize the overall shot. To do so, I will add some overlays effects. I will start with the blurring effects to keep the attention in the center. You can control the effect inside the viewer or inside the inspector. I will also add a lens distortion effect. To mimic the light of the screen of the headset, I will add the off-screen light effect. Change the color to a purple one. I will also add a little graphic animation from the add-ons elements. I will modify the size, the position and the color. It is a very small detail, but it will complete the animation. I will remove the desaturation parameter and it's done for this shot. On the matrix animation, it will be quick as I will just add a blurring over his effect in order to fake a depth of field effect. On the next shot, we need to show that the woman is experiencing virtual interactions. To do so, I will add a very cool effect called glowing edges. As the name suggests, this effect will apply a glow lines effect on the edges of each element inside your video. You have many parameters to customize this effect. I will start by changing the colors. As I'm using the mask mode, I can modify the size of it to add or reduce glowing elements. You can fine tune the oscillate parameter to modify the animation of the glowing effect. In order to enter inside the VR world, we need a nice transition. Mtitle Cyberpunk provides six exclusive transitions that you can find in the transition library. Transition 5 would be perfect for the jump inside the VR dimension. Each transition gets many parameters that you can modify. Here I will switch off the twirl effect. I will also double the duration by pressing Ctrl plus D. You can enter the right duration. I will type 2 seconds. The next cut, we need also a nice transition as the 3D Earth will switch to the real one. I will add the first transition, which will create some glitchy effect. These glitchy effects are fully customizable. You can play with the distortion parameters like this. Okay, so now let's work on the Earth shot. First, I will add a glowing edges overlays effect and adjust some parameters.
In order to show that it's a VR headset view, I will add the viewfinder over this effect. It will add a VR HUD over my shot. I will quickly change the colors and few parameters. To mimic the VR screen, I will add a pixelate overlay effect also. By default, the effect is very strong. I will reduce the pixel look in order to have a good in-between result. To complete the overall effect, I will add a graphic element by using the add-ons one. I will change the position and the color of the text element. I would like to apply this effect until the end of the edit. As it is a title element, it's very easy to increase the duration of all the elements like this. I will add transition with the two astronaut shots. For the ending titles, I will add the M title Cyberpunk 1. I will modify the main text and remove the other elements. Like the opening titles, I will remove the background and replace it by adding a new title below. To complete the titles, I will add an off-screen light overlay effect. It will add a nice gradient color effect. Last details, I will add a transition number 6. To conclude with this project, I need to correct one problem. As you may have seen, the different shots don't have the same aspect ratio. So to unify the overall project, I will add the letterbox overlays effects over all the elements. Okay, let's play it once again. To get more information concerning M-Title Cyberpunk and all the other packs, one address, motionvfx.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the MotionVFX YouTube channels to get more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.